Commerce of Multiphysics, Lecture 5, Part 2 The Effect of Constraint on Natural Frequencies C Directory, Program File, SolidWorks Corporation SolidWorks Simulation Example Use large icon and filter with assembly. Assembly. And we can easily find the shaft assembly. Open it and save it on desktop. So we don't mess up the original file. Now, make sure that console is loaded. This is first preparing step. And then we will enter, uh, check that live link is, is enabled. So now we'll enter com console environment. In this case, we will talk about the effect of constraint on the natural frequencies. 3D problem. Solid mechanics. And eigen frequencies. Now, for the first step, we load the model from SOLIDWORKS. And we have finished with the first step. The second step we will add material and we will use alloy steel for the axis and then add steel copper alloy for the bearings. Actually, I wanted to choose uh, bearing bronze, but I choose copper instead for this case. So, for the third step, I'll use finer mesh and build the mesh. And boundary conditions, I'll fix the four holes and I'll zoom it in so I, I select the surface easier. One, two, three, four. So these are the four surfaces that I will fix. And there will be no external load. So the effect of external load was uh, discussed elsewhere in other lectures. So uh, before I run the study, I will decide how many frequencies to calculate and I'll change it into five. And I'll compute, run the study. And you can see from the natural frequency that for the clamped condition that the, all the four holes are fixed and the frequency will be more than 1000 Hertz. We can see from the result later. We will wait for the result to come out. And in this lecture, we want to compare two conditions. The first one is clamped holes. So the all four holes are fixed. And to determine the natural frequency of the structure. And then we'll remove two constraints and compare the natural frequency again. So you can see from the result that the lowest natural frequency in this case is 
1232. So now we will remove two fixtures. So uh, these two fixtures are, are fixed and I'll re I removed two fixtures here. So I'll run the procedure again to see how the natural frequencies change. Remember that in the clamped condition that the, all the four holes are clamped and the lowest natural frequency is 1232. And now we have loosened two holes and theoretically the rigidity or stiffness of the structure will decrease. So the natural frequency should drop. So in theory, once the structure get softer or less rigid, the stiffness is decreased. There, therefore, the natural frequency will also decrease. So we'll compare the results. It's almost done. We we'll also compare the first frequency. You can see that the first frequency dropped from 1232 to 241. So it is uh, dramatically dropped. So you can see from this example that once the rigidity or stiffness of a structure is decreased, the natural frequency of the structure will also decrease. So that's why all the old machines or old cars will give out uh, loud noises or clattering. And that is because in old machines or old cars, the bolts are loosened. So this example is to simulate that some of the bolts are loosened by removing removing some of the fixtures and the natural frequency will drop so if you if you replace those uh, fixtures or boundary conditions the frequency will go up again so in real world theoretically if you can fasten all the fixtures for an old machine, you can uh, remove those clattering sounds. So this lecture talks about how a constraint condition will affect your natural frequencies of a structure.